Mrs. Smith is in her mid-40s. She is an occupational nurse and is always on her feet. About 15 years ago, Mrs. Smith was diagnosed with diabetes. In addition to her diabetes, she has high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and a history of mild chest pain. Her family doctor prescribed her medication to control her diabetes, blood pressure, and cholesterol levels. Despite her efforts in complying with her medication schedule, she started to experience pain in her feet. One morning, her foot pain became so unbearable that she scheduled an appointment with a local foot care specialist. Diabetic foot assessment revealed that she had an ulcer on both of her feet caused by damaged nerves, poor blood circulation, and poor choice of footwear. She was prescribed medication to treat her infection, and a diabetic foot treatment plan was outlined to prevent the likelihood of recurrence. Mrs. Smith's experience is a typical example where a diabetic patient has developed a complication known as a diabetic foot ulcer. So what exactly are diabetic foot ulcers, and what are some of the common symptoms associated with the condition? First off, here is a picture of what an actual diabetic foot ulcer looks like. As we can see, foot ulcers are open sores that usually form as a result of skin breaking down. If left untreated, foot ulcers may become infected. Infected ulcers might cause damage to the underlying tissue and bone, necessitating a variety of treatments, including the worst case scenario of toe or foot amputation. Some of the symptoms of diabetic foot ulcers include drainage from the foot that may leave a stain on your sock or leak out into your shoes. Irritation, redness, or swelling of one or both feet constitute early symptoms of a foot ulcer. A more severe foot ulcer may exhibit the presence of black tissue called eschar. This forms as a result of the lack of healthy blood flow to the area of where the ulcer is formed. The signs and symptoms of foot ulcers may not always be obvious to spot, in fact, symptoms of ulcers may go unnoticed until the ulcer gets infected. This is why it is important to consult a doctor as soon as you see any skin discoloration or feel any pain in the sole of the foot. Foot ulcers arise from three common causes, poor circulation, high blood sugar, and nerve damage. In addition to causing ulcers, both of these can slow down the healing process of an ulcer. Diabetics are prone to developing nerve damage, which leads to a loss of sensation in the feet. The loss of sensation reduces the pain response, and because of this, any cuts or sores that develop are often overlooked and can cause ulcers. This is where attentive foot health care and proper diabetes management can reduce the chances of foot ulcers and ultimately prevent drastic surgical intervention. Preventative strategies include simple management consisting of regular exercise, monitoring blood sugar levels, and a well-balanced diet. It is also important to inspect one's feet daily which involves checking for blisters, skin breaks, and areas that appear red. After effective preventative measures, taking general proper care of one's feet can significantly reduce the risk of developing foot ulcers. Managing your diabetes today can help prevent potential foot complications tomorrow and into the future, especially in old age where there is a greater likelihood of developing foot problems. Setting up a personalized management plan with your family healthcare team, one that includes foot care, will ultimately promote best foot health.